I'll be showing you how to play some compa. All right, so um, here are the notes that you're gonna be using to this video. So you're gonna be using the A string first fret, right? The D string first fret. You're gonna be using the open A string. All right, let's see how we can use those notes to our advantage in this video that we're going to react to. All right. Group. It's pretty fast, but hey, you gotta increase your speed somehow, right? <laughs> Alright, anyways, so, uh, so the groove is gonna sound like this. Alright, so to play this, the A part will sound like this. You're gonna play this about four or three times, the A, A string first fret, you're gonna play that three or four times. And then now you're gonna play the D string first fret. Probably playing that five or six times. So that'll be the A part right there. All right, now the B part will sound like this. So all you're doing for the B part, you're just playing the open A string and you play it about like three times or two times, it doesn't matter. And then go back to that D string, you know? D string first fret. Alright, and I, what you're going to be doing is just go, keep going back and forth, back and forth. Right. Play this grill that we just made and put into that video, alright? Alright, hold on. Before we get into the video, I might be live right now doing a Zoom class that you could be in. I'll be teaching how to play Kumpa, but get your speed up with the chords and everything. Join the free class, link in the description, and I'll see you in that next free class, all right? Hey, this is gonna be, this is gonna be good, all right? And now the next group I'm about to show y'all is gonna be, it's gonna be immaculate. But, so that part I just added right here, I did, it's pretty, all I did was add an extra, uh, extra two notes. So I did and then I go back to that B part. So to do this, all you want to do is just I say you need to practice and time it. You know, you need to time this for real. So uh so basically after the A part, at the very ending of that A part, you want to add that the your middle finger and your third finger to the D string second fret and third fret so like I said very ending of the A part and then you add that you add that B part which is the open A string and you just keep going back and forth back and forth all right now you could keep going adding extra notes but I'm gonna show you this next groove too. Hold on, give me a second. Let's react to this video to see how it will sound. Let's say we add another note. Hey, 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 hey. If you have like 10 notes or six, seven, eight around those range, you might be doing too much. You might be doing too much, right? I'm not talking to the intermediate players out there. I'm talking about for the beginner players, you know what I'm saying? Keep it different, All right? But um, now I, don't, I probably you guys already heard it. Maybe you guys didn't hear it, but I already added that extra note too. You guys probably didn't hear it or not. But all I did was add that open D string to it. You know what I'm saying? So for the basic part, you could do this. You just before you play the D string first fret. You add the open D string, and then you add that D string first fret. So, you see what I'm talking about? Before you were doing this, now you're just adding that open D string. And now, if you want to add, you know, make it a little bit more spicy, add that. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm going. My tip for you is maybe you need to start uh yeah consistency 
just replay this video basically if I were you replay this video try to get this um, that open D string in you know what I'm saying because it's gonna help you a lot when it comes to compass yeah and basically what I'm trying to tell you is just that the last notes or the simple notes like in the in the between the ranges three is three to four five or maybe four match to be honest with you for a beginner it's the best notes to be playing around with to be honest with you because now you're just getting a common sense of how to play a compa, right now we could keep going why not let's keep going sorry i had to stop the episode drop down a like i'm hoping that you get the most out of this video squeeze every little detail so just make sure to drop the like and let's get back to this video now it's gonna this group would sound like this <laughs> show you what I'm talking about. You're going to be using the D string first fret a lot. So we're just switching up the flow. So, um... So the first, the A part would sound like this. So you want to play the D, open D string and a D string first fret. And then what you want to do is get that, you know, the D string third fret and a D string first fret. All right, that's the A part. Now the B part is going to sound like this. So all you're going to do for the B part is the A string 3rd fret and you're just going to go back to that. Alright. Alright, and now you're just going back and forth with the A part and the B part and then boom, you basically got it right there. You might like this next video right here, I'm pretty sure you like it. Um, yeah, not too bad. Try this video right here, I'm pretty sure you might like it. Wow, I'm tired as hell. <laughs>